Hello everybody, welcome to the joy of trucking. So today we're gonna show you how to actually get paid as a truck driver by creating your trip envelope. Um, this is specifically for the Werner app, but uh, probably help other drivers as well. Before we get going, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to travel the roads of America with us and learn about trucking. All right, without further ado, here we go. Kevin's gonna show us how to do this, both on his phone and on the tablet. Now I'm gonna do the trip envelope in this time. Can you talk us through it, please, for our sure. viewers? Sure, on my phone or on the tablet, I go to the Werner app, either the old one or the new one. Then you scroll to where it says loads, and it will show you your current, previous, and pre-assigned loads. This is the load we're on right here. Go to this drop down menu, generate trip envelope and scan. This is how the driver gets paid for the job. So oh, that's important. So I had some camera issues at that point. So I've called Kevin back in to show it to you on another load and actually on his tablet. The station management has asked me to do a quick tutorial on generating a trip envelope. So here we are having just dropped off a load in this lovely place. And I'm about to generate the trip envelope for this job. So here you see the, the Werner app on my tablet. And of course you, you'll have it on your phone too. So you can do this all on your phone as well. Here we see our loads. This is the last load that I just dropped off. And it'll show you the trip history. Walmart from Drupa Valley, Walmart to Loveland, Colorado. See these little dots up here? I'll give you a drop down menu. Generate trip envelope and scan. Here we see generate the trip envelope, trip information, my truck, the job number, my name, my manager, and the trailer number. All very important information. And we've got next right down here in the corner. Next is the trip route from Jerupa Valley to Loveland, Colorado. That's good. Next, expense and pay record. Let's say you had to stop on a scale, pay for a scale, pay some tolls, maintenance parts, fuel, whatever else. If you incurred any personal expenses on this trip, this is where you would put them in. And make sure you have the receipt. It's important to have your bill of lading and any receipts for the trip so you can scan those in and make sure you get paid for them. Uh, that goes for lumpers too. Here's the next button for the next page. Also, there's a back if you want to go back and change or check something. Deadhead information. For this job, the deadhead mileage was zero, but make sure that your deadhead info, it'll have your where you started and where you picked up the load when you drove your deadhead miles before you got the load. So that would be on this page. Then your next Split information, if it's a split trip, they wanna know your city of origin and where the split took place, very important. And then finally create. So that's the last part you'll fill out. And then they'll show you a sample of the trip envelope. So you'll see all the information is correct, the, tr the job number, your tractor number, the trailer number, the date, your name, your manager, uh, the, the shipper name, and the destination and the uh, city you picked up, any extra pickups you made, deadheads, here's the list for all your expenses. So make sure the numbers are correct in there. And the split information if the load was split. And then a button down here says scan. So what it'll do is internally scan that document, turn it into a PDF, and there you see it up there in the corner as a document. Now we also have our bill of lading, so we're gonna to wanna to scan that, pressing the green button. And now it looks like a camera. So as you can see, I've placed the bill of lading right there on the table. And here I come with the tablet. So I'll come in real close, make sure there's no shadows. You get a clear picture of that. Press this blue button here the blue button on the end just like taking a picture 
but it's actually scanning. Now you'll see you can crop by moving these little blue corner pieces in and out. You change how much appears of the bill or whatever. And this particular load is a Walmart load, so you notice there's this sticker with this yellow stuff on it, and this is actually your proof that you've delivered the load. But usually your bill of lading, somebody will sign it saying it's been delivered, and you want a, a signature of that. Back to the tablet here. Let me see the document as it's scanned. And if I want to crop or move it around, change the settings, whatever. I can go back and reshoot it. I can hit next, which is like saving it. We can make adjustments. We can examine it, make sure the type is legible. If there's a signature, make sure it's legible. All the little words are there that are supposed to be there. We can accept it or we can go back and do it again. So we accept. Now you'll see in your document list, you've got your trip envelope and your bill of lading there. If I had any receipts that I wanted to collect expense money for, now would be the time to scan those as well and include them on this trip. You see a next button up here. Press the next button. It says send all or add pages. So we're gonna send all and the company should be receiving those documents. And look, success! Your documents have been sent for processing and there's a confirmation number. That's it. So every time you deliver a load, you're gonna do this in order to make sure you get paid for the load. This is how you get paid, by, by submitting a trip envelope and scanning any documents that go with that trip envelope. If you, if you do a split load, you deliver the load to the split location. You don't do a, a trip envelope unless you have uh, some expenses to submit. But it's the guy who delivers it to the customer that does the, the trip envelope. And then you will get paid when he submits the trip envelope. So that's how it works. Thanks, Kevin. So now we're going to go back and have him finish explaining things using his actual phone. So now... I have generated the trip envelope by going through all the menus, that, making sure that they show my deadhead miles, my destination, any expenses I've incurred. If it's a split trip, you can show that. And then you scan that in. And now if you have any other documents, you press the green button, camera scan. And it looks like a camera. You can take a picture of the bill of lading. Hold it very still. Smile. And then you can crop by moving these blue dots. If you want to make it fancy, make it fancy, <laughs> get it closer to the actual size. Press next. It crops to just the document, and now you can look at it before you save it. It's all legible. The bill of lading number is on there. Any signatures are on there. Shows that you have actually delivered the load. Then you accept that document. If you need a, if you have a receipt for some expenses, now would be the time to scan them. They'll be recorded. And then you press next. Send all, meaning you're sending your documents in to prove you've delivered the load. And it will say, oh, I've got enough bars here. Shouldn't take too long. Stand outside and jump up and down on one leg. Uploading the documents. Great success! Success! Very nice! Close. We're done. And you're gonna get paid for that! that job is finished. Oh, that's wonderful, Kevin. Congratulations! I like, I like getting paid for Yeah, jobs. getting paid for the work is really a, a, an important aspect of the whole experience. So that was electronically creating a trip envelope. When you have a split load, you actually do the old-fashioned paper envelope to hand in at the gate but uh, when it's not split and you're the or it was split but you are the last driver who delivers it then you create a trip envelope electronically and that's what you submit to get paid and now we're ready we're ready what's next Thanks, Kevin, for showing us how to create an electronic trip envelope, both on the phone and on the tablet. 
Uh, we hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can put your comments and questions below. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.